So let me tell you a little bit about Save the Whales Reloader, which, to be perfectly honest, right now, it's kind of an experiment. Um, but it is developing into a campaign, and a campaign that I think could be incredibly refreshing. So um, Save the Whales campaign at the moment is kind of like a research exercise. So we are asking everybody uh, we, we see here at Whalefest to come and get involved and just um, map on a big global Google map, a Google Earth map, the places around the world where they are worried on behalf of whales and dolphins. So we're calling those places areas of concern because it's a very simple term we can make. Because we really need to learn what all of the stakeholders out there uh, feel are the priorities for whales and dolphins. Otherwise, how can we prioritize overall? So uh, we're asking charities, we're asking whale watching companies, we're asking other businesses, but most importantly, we're asking the general public, okay, what are you worried about here? We need to know um, so that we know what your priorities are. And also because we need to get more and more people behind the campaigns that can really you know, uh, cause change and, and, and help these animals. So over the course of this festival, we've got people doing exactly that, drawing lines. We've, we're making this statement, together we can draw the line. Um, drawing lines, drawing circles around places where they're worried about, and it's been absolutely incredible experience. Um, not least because some of the, the largest charities have come out and made some really amazing statements. For example, uh, WWF, uh, Greenpeace, um, International Fund for Animal Welfare, I4, and WDC have all said, do you know what? If you're looking at areas, we really want to look at the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary. This is a sanctuary that's been in existence since the 1990s, but actually uh, the Japanese um, whaling fleet go into that area every single, uh, well, Northern Hemisphere winter and hunt minke whales. There's actually more hunting of whales in the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary than anywhere else on the planet. Now that doesn't make sense. And how are the public supposed to interpret something like that? So they wanted to make a statement, well, you know, you're taking an area approach, here's an area we're worried about. Straight away, we also had Barbara Mass from NABU. It's a charity that's working um, also with colleagues in New Zealand because there are only 55 of a group of these absolutely beautiful dolphins called Maui's dolphins left on the planet. So she instantly said, oh, okay, you're talking about mapping. I wanna draw the area where these, these dolphins really need to be saved. So not as big as the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary, but a regional example. And then the next thing, um, a court case coming up this very week, absolutely in the news right now. Morgan, a killer whale which was taken from the wild. It was actually found emaciated in, in bad condition on a beach in Holland. Uh, it was taken to uh, a facility for rehabilitation and the idea was that it would be re-released to the wild. Now, through a terrible series of events, it's ended up in an aquarium uh, in Tenerife called Loro Parque and we can see terrible marks and injuries from this whale. It's really, really suffering. So guess what? Ingrid Visser, the world expert on killer whales, has put a circle around that place and we together are starting to say, well, we draw the line. We don't find what's happening in these places for whales and dolphins acceptable. What is kind of spine-tinglingly exciting about the campaign, and like I say, it is just at the moment, um, a kind of setting up and learning process and educational process for us. But what's really, really exciting is that we are finding, and I believe this is probably for the first time, all of the stakeholders, all of the people out there who care about these animals standing up together and signing up to this thing. So it's not just the charities who are drawing these maps, it's charities, whale watching companies, other businesses and individuals equally making this statement. And those people and organizations combined gives us the kind of power that governments could be scared of in case of the New Zealand Maui dolphin or commissions like the International Whaling Commission who've let this slip somehow, who, who decided on the, the Southern Ocean Whaling Sanctuary, in the, the, sorry, the Southern Ocean Whale Sanctuary in the 1990s. You know, we're kind of gunning for the decision makers who've made errors here and we're doing it in a way that's more united than I believe has happened in the past. And that's the kind of power that will enable us to really, I think, really create some great change. So it's just the beginning, but I think we've got something really exciting here. And all of the people who've got involved in this campaign seem to be agreeing. And that's, that's really great news.